Sometimes I get called out in the comments. Sometimes my coding style, sometimes my dark humor, and sometimes for a design element in one of my videos. While the first lot can take a long walk off a short pier, the second can carry the concrete block for the first, and the third, well, if you're this guy talking about this video, well, you're absolutely right. Quick recap. In the video, I show how to hack the hierarchy in order to show toggles next to the game objects, in order to activate and deactivate them. But look at those toggles. They're ugly as sin. So ugly, in fact, that I made a preference just to be able to switch them off, which I ended up setting the default to false, which tells you everything you need to know about this particular tool. So let's take that suggestion and let's make it work. We will make a static class called hierarchy icon activation. Add the initialize on load attribute, which will run the static constructor when the Unity editor launches. In there, we will set up an event called for hierarchy window item on GUI, which we'll call this method when the hierarchy repaints. Awesome. Now for the fun part. We will create a rect using the selection rectangle that the event provides, but let's make it only as wide as the icon. After all, we don't want to press the name of the object and have it disable. Be odd. Now, how do we know if the user clicks in the rectangle? We make sure we are listening for the right mouse button, which is the left mouse button, and we check the rectangle contains the mouse position. We will make sure to use this event as no one else is allowed it. Now we can set the active state for the object to its inverse. But don't be that lazy tools coder who finishes there. We will record the change in the undo and mark the scene as dirty because we've done something to it. And there we have it. No awful toggles as who needed them when we have the name dulling on deactivation anyway. Now, the only thing left for me to do is set up a settings provider and enable this by default, as I like it a lot more than the previous one. Now, if I could say the viewer's name to thank them, I would, but I'd only end up butchering it, so I'm not going to. But if they reappear below, make sure to like their comment, as they will inevitably be boasting about how this was their idea and not mine. Or maybe they won't comment at all, because most people thought I had died because I hadn't posted in two months. But anyway, we'll see what happens.